Hi, good afternoon everybody. I'm late with this one. Let's talk about yesterday's game. Coming up. There's no point in pulling out the numbers. I'll discuss them a little, but at this point, folks, there's no point in really trying to explain anything that the Sabres are doing right or wrong because it's mostly been a wrong season. Now, they fooled me this year too, not just you. They fooled me as well. The only team I thought before the season started that could possibly finish in front of us was Boston. And that is honestly the truth. That is what I believed. I didn't think Detroit. I didn't think Ottawa. Florida, I, I just figured we're going to regress in the standings. Maybe not so much the standings because they regressed last year, but regressed from, let's say, the previous year when they were first overall. Toronto just don't have the defense or goaltending or the grit, so I didn't count Toronto as really as much of a threat as many people did. A lot of people thought Toronto would finish in front of us no matter what, not me. And I figured Tampa Bay is kind of on the downswing in this era. They are. They're getting older. And they have regressed this year. So as we go along this season, the biggest disappointment in this division are the Buffalo Sabres. They're the biggest disappointment, guys. And not just yesterday's game. It's just... This just, if, if for those people that think we got to keep Granato as coach, you're, you're so lost, guys. Really, you're so lost. Because take a look at last night. Don't tell me the coach hasn't lost the team, please. So Boston, we're the one team I figured. Toronto, I figured we'd finish in front of. Florida, I figured we'd finish in front of. Tampa, I figured would regress. Detroit, are rebuilding. Montreal would be dead last, I figured. And Ottawa was a question mark. I wasn't sure about Ottawa. So Boston, of course, has done their thing this year. And um, Toronto's overachieved. They got nine regulation wins in 29 games. Toronto's overachieved, folks, by 16 and 7. They've overachieved. Uh, Florida, about where I thought they'd be. I thought the Sabres would have a record like Florida, 18 and 11. I think that's realistic to think. We would be about that right now. But it's not that we're 13 and 17. I, I, I feel like this is going to get much worse. I, that's just how it feels to me. It just feels like this is going to continue to spiral out of control this season. Unless we make a coaching change. If we don't make a coaching change, we're going to win two, uh, uh, lose three. Win two, lose three. Win two, then lose five or something. Like, what's it going to take for Adams to not pull another Kruger on us where you kept it to the point of unbearable. It's, it's, it's getting to that point again. But this, the, the thing is that the season's within grasp. The, the, it's not over yet. But if we don't, if we wait till we're 10 games under 500 and more games are off the schedule, then, Granada, then, then, then Adams is being an idiot and he's just being loyal to the wrong people. You know, the, the ones you gotta be loyal to are the fans. They're the ones that pay the bills there. They are. And they've got to figure something out. They've got to figure it out now. I'm, I'm going to keep harping on this. They've got to make a coaching change. Guys, you've seen how we won in Vegas, and look what happened last night on our home ice. Take a good look. We got destroyed yesterday. It wasn't even funny. And I felt bad for the goalies, but they were just as much to blame. Both of them looked bad. And, um, you know, when they took out Levi, and what was it? Lukanen let in his first two shots right away. He let in a soft one. Lukanen let in five. He let in four. I mean, you can argue <laughs> Levi had the better night, right? He did. <laughs> Jeez. We've got, to, we've got to do something, guys, and we've got to do it now. And I have a feeling they're not going to do nothing. Adams is a repeat offender of a thing called procrastination. He's a good GM, a damn good GM. He knows what he's doing when it comes to building a team, getting players signed. He's done a great job. And I don't want to get all mixed up with the, the hoopla of losing to judge him. That's not the way to do it. But I could tell you this, when there's a problem, the GM's job is to resolve it, not sit on it and let it fester, okay? I mean, they outshot us 14-4 in the first. And we outshot them 25-20 the rest of the game. 
But by that point, we were playing come from behind. They were already up three to one and, you know. I mean, we score in the first minute, folks. We score right away and then they score seven, seven goals straight on us before we have an answer, which is like Pozo. I don't know. The more I look at this team, the more I, I, I know we need to do something and we need to do it now. Let me just check uh, the goaltending just for the heck of it. Lukanen saved 11 out of 16 shots. Levi saved 14 out of 18 shots. Uh, Lukanen 688 save percentage and Levi a 778. So call it for what you want, guys. It was a disaster. So I think right now, like I, I put this way, I put on NHL.com on my computer today. First thing I checked is if Granado was fired. Because I got a feeling that Adams is going to let this get to the point of unbearable, like he did with Kruger before he finally did something. And it's like, do we have to go that low and be the brunt end of bad jokes all year again before our general manager does something? If so, he's got to go. He's got to go. I don't care how good he is in certain ways. When it comes to survival instincts, he sucks if he sits on this. He's got to do something. He's got to do it today, in my opinion. Today. Like we need Granado replaced today. He should be on the phone right now talking to whoever, Gerard Gallant, whoever. I'm open-minded to. I'm not a Boudreaux fan, but I'm open-minded to it right now. We need a change of scenery with the voice behind the players. Now, not tomorrow, today. And this would give the fans some kind of good news for most of us. It would be a welcome idea. I don't like Granato's system, folks. I don't like the razzle-dazzle and non-contact hockey. I'm not into that, okay? That is not how you win a Stanley Cup. Go look at all the champions. you got to play physical to win Stanley Cups. You have to hit your opponent. I can argue here, what, the Sabres had 20 hits. They had 12 or 14. They had 12. We had hit them 20, 12 in the game. Do you guys remember any of those hits? I don't. I don't. Love taps. I'm talking hits where you flatten guys out. Wendell Clark type hits. Those type of hits. Mike Pekka hits. We don't have anybody on this team that isn't a wuss, except guys that we have to... And then, then when you get a guy like Robinson, is it just me or is Granado going to ruin his physical game and try to get this guy, turn him into the next Tage Thompson? Like, what are you doing, Granado? You know, you, you let the beast, un, uh, unleash the beasts on the league. We've got to get some guys that make a difference physically. Or this team's doomed anyway. I've been saying it for years, and you, you know what? I'm writing it out now. Now I'm going to write it right to the end till we make the proper change, get the proper coach in here, and teach these kids how to play hockey properly, not transition. Anybody can do that. Anybody can do a transition game, guys. Anybody. Anybody could do Granado system. The easiest thing. You can let a bunch of kids loose and tell them, hey, you don't have to play physical. Just pass, pass, pass. You know? Of course, you're going to catch the league off guard for a year. But then what happens? The league catches up to you. And really catches up to you. You think that other teams haven't looked at the videotapes? You think Columbus hasn't looked at the videotapes of the Tage Thompson night where he had the five goals? And that's another thing Granado did that pissed me off, guys. Remember the big night that Tage had last year in Columbus? Why the hell was he benching him in a third and not letting him go after the NHL record? What kind of coach does that? Really? I ask you, what kind of coach does that? He was within grasp of the NHL record for goals in a game. And what, you're going you're gonna to protect him and not let him on the ice so he doesn't get hurt? The end result of that, when you shield players like that, they get hurt anyway. Take a look at Tage since. He's pretty much been injured since, right? There's a lot of things that this coach does I can't stand. And I'm not going to pretend it's okay anymore. And the losing for me doesn't bug me as you guys know it doesn't bug me like it bugs you guys as much as the game that he he teaches the players to play avoid getting hit this is what we do guys that's the buffalo sabers you don't see guys coming at you like this you just see them going like this or avoiding contact on the boards and trying to make a pass in our zone 
I, if I had a guy lined up when I played, he's getting hit when I played. Isn't that just normal? That you, if you got a guy lined up, you take him out. One less body out there is better than, you know, having, I can go on and on. <laughs> I'm not going to do it today. I'm not going to do it. I just want to voice my opinion on why we need a coaching change. And I think a lot of you are, for your own reasons, agree. We need a coaching change and we need one now. And you know what? This, is cha this channel is going to be repetitive about this now. I, I, it's to the point I, I don't watch Granado interviews anymore. Unless I get baited into it, I read one of your comments and I say, okay, I'll check it, you know? Because I get too angry when I, when I see him in interviews now. It's to the point I can't look at him. There are certain players that did that to me. Tyler Myers at the end, I couldn't look at him. I didn't even want to see him. Uh, Drew Stafford comes to mind. That's another one. I couldn't stand this guy. By the end of his tenure in Buffalo, I couldn't wait to ship these guys out. I couldn't believe Winnipeg gave us Kane and took these, these duds over there. So, look, right now, guys, we just got to hang tight and hope that changes are made. Or else we're getting shafted this year, for sure. You know, to tell you the truth, I had my doubts about Granado. As you know, I've mentioned it before, but... I was trying to be open-minded, okay? I'm trying to be open-minded because we had 91 points last year. I'm trying to be open-minded that we're the softest team in the NHL. And I'm trying to be open-minded about it. I won't change with the era, no, but I'm trying to be open-minded that the grid is coming as the age comes. And no, no, it didn't. This coach, if anything, discourages playing hard and tough. He's gotta go. All right, folks, I got a, another video coming your way. See you in that one.